Hey guys, this is a quick follow-up to yesterday's video. In that video, I explained how the new find shortest path node works in animation nodes, of course. If you haven't seen that video yet, uh, this one is not going to make much sense to you. So I suggest that you watch the other one first and then come back here. So I assume that you've seen what we've built here. Now you know that one of the challenges that we face is creating this list here of uh, the sources input here for the find shortest path, which needs a list of indices of the vertices that we want our find shortest path uh, algorithm to start at. And in yesterday's video, let me just hide target and show this character here. I started at the, basically at the fingertips here, or at the fingernails actually, on both hands. So I selected these two vertices, and then I ran that script that I showed in the other video to get the indices so that I know what to plug in here so that this algorithm knows where to start the paths to all the other vertices. Now, this is kind of a stupid thing. This is kind of a challenge and it, it kind of annoys me that I always have to execute this script and then type in the numbers here. So there's two things. First up, somebody actually suggested, uh, I think on YouTube or Twitter or somewhere, um, that there is an add-on that comes with Blender that shows you the vertex index number. Uh, this is kind of cool, I have to say. So I didn't know that this existed at all. So let me just show you uh how to use it it is called measure it okay and it comes with blender so just look for measure it in your add-ons and then enable this checkbox and then you have the measure it tools enabled and in your uh, viewport here you just hit n on the keyboard also let me start my keyboard shortcut so you can see what i'm typing and then in tool uh, no in view down here, you have the measure it tools. You can open that and then you can uh, press show, which shows uh, measurements. And down here in the mesh debug, when you open that, uh, by default, the vertices is already selected and it shows the vertex index for all of the vertices. Now this is quite the mess here, of course, with our high poly mesh of this um, 3D character here, but we can click and it's also very slow. See when I scroll, this is super slow now, but we can click this little selected uh, button here, selected, and then it only shows the vertex index of the selected vertex. And you can see here the 7258, which is what we used yesterday and over here, 910, which is also what we used yesterday. So this helps a lot to find the selected vertices. Let me just go in and maybe do something a little bit more interesting. Let's start here and here. And you can see 2,871 and 11,000 something. So this is a cool tool and I wanted to show you this, but I think this can be even better. So this has to be open. I'm just gonna leave this on for now so that we know what numbers we have. And after I posted the video yesterday, um, I thought, um, I have a script that gives me a list of vertex indices and I execute that script manually. And then I type the numbers in here. This is stupid. I can execute a script inside of animation nodes. So let me show you what I think is really the coolest solution to our problem right here. So let me split the screen here, go over to the text editor. Uh, in here, I still have the script from uh, my video yesterday, but I'm gonna create a new script um, and I'm gonna call this get selected indices, okay? Now, uh, how do I explain this? Well, we have, you know, we have sub programs inside of animation nodes. One of the loop that we created yesterday to place the glowing dots at the ends of the pipes used a loop. And I have other videos here on the channel that use loops 
So I, I assume you already know what a subprogram is, but there's also this subprogram type script here. And this is really, really awesome because what this can do is we can write a script like the get selected indices here. Now the script node already imports the BPY library and all that kind of stuff. So we really just have to write the code that we want. Now, you might be familiar with this line of code. Just like I explained yesterday, we are taking the selected object here and its data and then the vertices of that. And we iterate through that. And if the vertex is selected, then we take its index and we place all of that into a variable, which is then a list of the index numbers of our selected vertices. Uh, you can see here I'm not importing BPY because that's already done by this node in animation nodes. And then we can tell this node, hey, you have an output, which is an integer, integer list, and it's called cellverts. So you have to type in this name that you create here. The variable is called cellverts, and this cellverts should be an output now of this script. Now, just like with any subprogram, we can hit W and create an invoke node because this is just the script. This is the actual execution of this script. And now we have a list of selected vertices. Let's see if it works. So let's plug in a viewer here and then hit execute node tree. And also, of course, uh, pick our script here. We can call this get selected indices as well so that the label here also shows up here, which makes it a little bit clearer what this node does. Now let's save, execute, and here we go. The viewer now shows 2871, which is this one, and then the other one. So this works. And now all we really have to do is we can get rid of this and just plug this in here. So we have a sub program that gives us the selected indices of the active object. And we just use those as the source for our find shortest path node. Now we can improve this even more because we can create a new input here, an object. Let me just call it OBJ. So in here we now have the object called obj. We take uh, the object that we plug into the script and take the vertices of that object. Now the invoke has an object input. And in fact, I'm going to take an object, I take my character model, plug it in here and here. And now this script is not dependent on the selected object anymore. It's actually the object that we want that we specify inside of animation nodes. So now our script is super short and easy and it still works. Let's see. Let's go into edit mode, pick this one and that one and that one. So we have those three selected now and I hit execute node tree and check it out. We have those three selected and this is already all executed. So if I hide this and show this, we already have the new starting points from here. And then we're starting from here. This is the super easy way of picking selected vertices out of an object. And it's all done with this very simple script inside of animation nodes. And we don't have to type in numbers anymore. If you like this trick, please give the video a thumbs up. Also, analytics tells me that uh, most viewers of my videos are not subscribed yet. So maybe consider subscribing to let me know that my videos are appreciated and I should keep making them. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Crispy out.